Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Jenkins, which is a server automation, very helpful for continuous integration and continuous deployment, as well as continuous delivery. The first thing, we need to go to Jenkins.io page. As you can see, this is the, the interface for that page. Then we need to go to download button to see the instructions. Jenkins Jenkins usage is very has been very spread around the world and around the companies, so it has several um, several installations for several distributions in Linux as well as Windows and Mac OS. It also it also has a Docker image to to deploy it in a container, which I'm going to show you as well in a in a future video. In this case, I'm using CentOS version seven, so I'm going to see the instructions for that that distro. Okay, I just clicked the Red Hat and CentOS link, and here is the the instructions. First thing we need to to add the repository, the Jenkins repository in my local. So I'm going to copy this and execute it in a terminal. Okay, the repository has been added to etc jump.repos.d which is the default location for the repositories in CentOS or Red Hat. I'm going to import the key as well. So I'm able to use this repository. I just did. Let me clean my terminal. And finally, I'm going to install Jenkins with Jump. It's only 63 megabytes, so it's it's light. It's gonna take about a minute. I'm going to pause this video and resume once it's completed. Okay, it is now completed. So let me check the service. most familiar with service common state of system CTL. Okay, we can see the service is inactive dead at the moment, so I'm going to start it. I check the status again. As you can see, it's active and running at the moment. So this means that I'm I'm supposed to be able to reach out it uh, in the browser. Let me try it. It should be running on local host at port 8080. Okay, it's starting. Redirecting me to To this page. As I previously installed it for another demo, uh, is not showing the the initial screen, which is a, a screen asking for a master key, which is located in a, a particular path in the system. It's showing um, the path. You need to cut that path and see that key. So you can access to the to the application itself. After that, you will install the plugins, the necessary plugins to to run this application. 
uh, it will take about three minutes or so and create a new user in this case I think my user should exist yeah it is so it bring me to the initial page for for Jenkins I'll share more instructions on the on the channel so you can see the the key the key steps as I mentioned um, and also in another video I'll show you how to create more more stuff in this in this application like new jobs uh, parameterized jobs as well as freestyle and so on. Thanks for seeing. Please subscribe to the channel. I hope you liked this video.